take your order, please. In Building with Earth Bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family for this week's adventure. Gary put in this pantry behind us. We took out a little chunk of our bathroom that's off of the bedroom. So we're gonna need more storage. And Gary put in that beautiful concrete sink mm. and there's storage underneath there. But now you're gonna be putting in more storage for us. I'm gonna put in a medicine cabinet. So that's gonna be a, a corner, kind of a 90 degree thing with a mirror and some lights, a little switch. It'll be cool. Do you have something to say for yourself? Do I have anything to say for myself? Mm -hmm. Cutting out uh, little pieces right now to fit in for the light. On the face of our cabinet, there can never be a glass door, and then on either side of the glass door is one of these LED lights. And what I've done here is just relief the light in here on this edge, and now these are the top pieces that'll go here. I have another one just like it on the bottom that matches the other side. I think we're ready to pull this truck out, get it washed, and build the paint tunnel. And then just bring it back in, mask it off, and put primer on it. All the body work is done. Well, almost all the body work is done. <laughs> There's just like, I just did a couple little spots that are just gonna be sanded last minute and put in, there's nothing major on them. They're just, I'm just waiting on stuff to dry. The design of what we're trying to put together there is of course it's gonna fit into a 90 degree space. The mirror's gonna to have to be at least close enough to be able to put two lights on either side. The lights are gonna be an LED style, one on either side so you get that beautiful lighting. See your face looks gorgeous. And then uh, you have the lighting on either side and then of course the cabinet door with a mirror that you can open and... This is fancy. Fancy smancy, huh? Uh-huh. Glue? Link in description for the glue shirt. Oh, that'll look nice, Pops. Sweet, look at that. I love it. Just trying to beat the tension. It's not as flat as it used to be. Wait for the glue to dry, too. Yeah, yeah well. You can put wood glue on this glue side. Light panels with the glass mirror going in here, the door that opens up to the medicine cabinet. So you'll have lights on both sides to flip on so that when you're looking in the mirror, you'll have plenty of light. A little rheostat on it, too, to adjust it to medium and low and stuff. This is, yeah, this is plan B. Got a tarp, that's a 12 by 24. We're gonna have to cut it in half, but I wanted 12 by 12 tarps, which obviously the hard size to find. It doesn't need to be a perfect seal, because actually we do need a little bit of breeze through there, and we may end up chucking some fans in. That's my plan right now. All right, sounds like a good thing. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it down. You know what I wonder? And we should try it real fast. If we burn the edges, if it won't fray as bad. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that working? I think it might help. This may be just really bad idea to put this up in the wind. But if it's we wait always, on the wind, we'll never put it yeah, up. Yeah, this gets always windy in the spring. Can you hook that eyelid on the nail? Yes. Yes I can. Nice. This side will be easy, the other side will have to go through, you know? Oh, so you can get through it? And this tarp is not quite the length that we need. It's gonna be a little short, so it's gonna have a bit of a gap on both edges, but we're not really trying to stop wind. We're just trying to get rid of as much dust as possible.
Starting the layout for the box itself. The cabinet is turning out beautiful and it's gonna have a lot of space to store the towels or whatever we put in there. So I'm excited about that and I'm excited about trying out the lights when we get that all set up. He had the biggest smile. He's got a big smile. He's got a big smile. So there'll be actually three shelves total to put stuff on. Wow, honey, this is really cool. And there'll be lights right in here. I didn't even know you were going to be doing this. It's so, it's just so clever. I love it. I think it's going to go in very nicely and, and set up pretty nice. It looks nice too. I like the whole flow of the cabinet below and the cabinet. Ooh, yeah, there's it's a nice like match. One nice piece. Yeah. yeah. You never have enough drawer space in bathrooms and kitchens. Yeah. Just the more, the better. So. so well, this one will have the one that's on the wall, and then I'll have another one that I put in, you know, for towels and that kind yeah. of stuff. And underneath the sink, so there's plenty of stuff. Now I just need to get a, a little one of those little round ones that gets your face really close, yeah. so you can do your eye makeup and sure. stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah. I love it. She's all washed. We are so close to ready to start spraying. It's ridiculous. We're getting the, the masking going. I typically like to do is come through with smaller tape first and fine tape it and make sure it's really nice. And then I go over with like plastic later on with a thicker tape. And you're, you're not trying to mess with taping nice lines with plastic involved too. Seems like a smart idea. Spray on the tires. Are these gonna be big enough? No, not gonna be big enough. <laughs> All right, so we have to rip them in half. Okay. Well, that works good. Just as we planned it. Yeah. Right. We'll just put some tape across the back. Yeah. What? You don't trust me? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I trust you. Should I tape it to each other? Yeah, or? tape it to itself, because it'll the tape sticks really good to the plastic. Woo! There's that wind. <laughs> Maybe, let me try it. I, I have a thought. <laughs> I think that'll work. Okay, do not start the truck now. <laughs> Your second cabinet fits through the door. Yeah, not too wide this time. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Uh, it's about 34 and three quarters. I was thinking kind of like the top of it, right there. The bottom would be the bottom of my tape. Oh, that is so nice, Gary. Wow. Oh, that's perfect. That's a perfect height. Okay, well, we'll make it permanent. Okay. Get the wire, get the wires for your lights on the side too. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. You did good. Alright. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Okay, good. Okay. Hey. 
More taping? More, well, I think we're done. We're, we got plastics, right? Yeah. Oh, you're standing on a ladder. Hmm? No, no, this is not normal ride. <laughs> See that so? We'll tuck it up. She is so much like her sister. Outside, she's happy. That's uh, probably so much like her mother. When you design stuff from scratch, th there's always these little potentials that things may not go exactly like we want them to. Yeah, you see a corner and you just want to throw something in there. So that's kind of how it happened, I guess. You want to utilize the space. Well, it's kind of that concept, bigger's better. Bigger mirror, bigger depth, bigger lights. Yes. <laughs> We've tried it for a day or two with it sitting up on that stand. I'm realizing I can't get my big old head over the top of the sink. Apparently, you don't brush your teeth that way. No, no, I I, I just kind of spit. There's a hole, <laughs> spit in it. You gotta be right over the top. I don't of know it, how to so spit very right well. Right into the hole. Spit and your head, your head kept bumping against the glass. Yeah. So I'm so sorry, but you, you're gonna take it back and... I'm gonna take it back and, and redesign it. Yeah, so. so we'll lose some of our space. You know, yes. Rotating these lights this way, a little bit more and giving us a little bit more headroom. Yeah, I love that. Okay. And then we'll both get what we want because yeah. I'm a little more sloppy when I brush my teeth. I need more bowl room. Yeah, she uses a brush about this big. <laughs> oh, is the stand coming with us? Apparently. Okay. It's been really windy the past couple weeks. To avoid the wind, we're gonna try and work in the evenings. The wind dies down a lot. Plus, the kiddos are asleep then. <laughs> yeah. The sun's going down and the kids are down. I'm gonna start by closing up the paint booth and getting ready to wipe down everything with the mineral spirits to get it ready to spray our very first coat of primer. All right, I'm gonna get this thing all wiped down, get all the wax or any grease off of the truck here. I painted a few vehicles in the past, but it's been a while since I painted anything. So I'm kind of having to relearn it a little bit and it's coming back fast, but it's taken me a little bit to get rewarmed up to painting stuff. <laughs> Way too late at night for us to be doing this. Not because it's actually late at night, just because it's late for us at night. I think we got to figure it out. Like an idiot, I forgot to thin my primer. So I sat there for hours. That's uh, sat there for a while <laughs> trying to figure out what was uh, was going on. But it gave the wind a little time to die down. So I think we are actually ready to spray now though. Take this apart and redo it. Right now we're backing out some nails. We're cutting this back and in doing so, I think I'm gonna take it back to the maximum depth I can and still get the door on. So to do so, it means I need to cut some smaller pieces. Woohoo! Modified. Where are the lights gonna go, like sideways now? Somewhere over here. <laughs> okay. And have that it's kind smaller. Of That's the way those will go on. To ride with these out a little deeper into this. Could you maybe hold this for a second? It's kind of heavy. Okay. Yeah. You ready? I'm not. A little bit tight in here. Not so much you notice though.
That's it, primer's on. Let this puppy dry up now and come back in the morning and see what it looks like. Yeah. It's just primer. This one's gonna get sanded anyway. It looks really good. Should we go to bed? Yeah, let's go to bed. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> This is perfect, Gary. Oh, look at that. Now, how do you turn it on? We now have the final thing done. I have it pushed back as far as it'll go. Lights are totally on the side, on the walls, so there's even more room. So I added another five inches. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. Oh, Gary, I love this. Oh, honey, just this perfect. Oh, in my head, I can get over this. And yeah, but that's banging in your head right here. <laughs> it's perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. And you know what? That's quite a bit of space in there. Yeah. You know, that's good space. Oh, isn't that nice, too? It's just one full unit like that, yep. too. It's nice. Good job. Thank you. There's a clearance there for head bobbing over the sink. So <laughs> it's going it's to work just perfect now. It was probably easier than shrinking my head. Or moving the sink. Let's move the sink <laughs> oh, this gee. way. Yeah, that would not have been good. And it looks so beautiful. That was a good idea to turn those lights in. You know, We lost some of the space in the cabinet, yeah. which was kind of a bummer, but you have more cabinets yeah. you're planning to put in. Well, it's really better than a concussion, trying to brush your teeth. <laughs> wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is glue. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or many of our other products that we have in store, as well as other designs that we offer, the link will be down in the description. We want to give a special thank you to our Patreon supporters. We really appreciate your financial contribution. It certainly helps uh, the projects, and the video, and um, everything that goes on around here. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, uh, give a, a buck or two a month. The link will also be down in the description. If you missed last Friday, we did a full version on Garen and Ellie's aquaponics build that they did. Uh, last year, we'd been getting some requests for that, so we we're finally able to get that out to you. If you missed it, the link will be down in the description as well. A lot of great stuff going on down there. We are going to be starting back our podcast again. Uh, so on Monday, well, that's going to start commencing forward. We're pretty excited. I'm glad to be getting back in that as well. So we really look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! Some folks have been asking about me, wondering where I am, and I've had some stuff with my health, but I'm doing better, I'm on the mend, and I should be rock and rolling 100% soon. I wanna just say how much I appreciate your concern, and um, I am fine, <laughs> so thank you so much. Chef. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Who is that? Oh, whoa. Is there something different about you? You seem a little... With less beard, is it easier to talk? Do you feel the weight? Do people feel the weight of beards? Oh, it can come because gradual. Does it feel lighter though when it goes off? No. Like I know if I like cut my hair, I feel lighter. Freer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe a little. Yeah. Okay. I've always wondered that, so I'm really glad you clarified. And I think to myself, I really love what he did with the lights. Mm -hmm. Me too. <gasps> Oops. Mm -hmm. We didn't really need that anyway. Open this, do you think? What do we have here?